Here's your host, uh, Connor Cooper. Say hello. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our second episode already. I know I can't believe it. It's here. It's it's here. It is here. Uh, mm -hmm. Once again with me always, Logan Bennett. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do another top ten list here in a second. I'm going to sit down. My calves are hurting. That's not good. Oh, dude. Okay, well our top 10 list today is going to be top 10 odd dog names. Jeremiah, would you pull the first card? Yeah. There's a bit of stuff on there, isn't it? Dog. I have my dog. I feel like dog as a name for a dog, that's dog on cute, so I don't know if that should be on the list. I mean, I like it. Let's go with the next one. <laughs> nope. No? Nope. No, I, I I actually don't know. I, I don't know. Let's just let's just try it. Try what? Which is nine. I don't know. Which way does this list go, Logan? I have no idea. Dinner. Okay, D that's a little bit creepy. Um. That was the name of my dog. You named your dog Dinner. Yeah. Logan, yeah. why don't you come up here and join us? I. I I'd okay. much rather that. Okay. I feel like you're staring at the back of my hairline. That's fine. All right. Well, how old did Dinner live to be? Was it ready around uh, five? Yeah. Okay. Let's go with number eight. Let's see what number eight is today. Total of it. Okay. I didn't make this. It was you. So. Television? You could sit around and watch television all day. Yeah. That, I think it has a favorite channel. I, what would you, would you call it TV for short? Or? Uh, you made this list, so I have no clue. I don't know where this list came from, Logan. Oh, uh, well, you made it, so I... All right, let's just go with number seven. Let's find out. Cucumber. I love pickles. I like pickles myself, but... Cucumber. I don't like cucumber. <laughs> Say the word. Cucumber? Okay, let's go with number six. Couch. I sit on couch. Would you be able to yell at the dog for being on the on itself? Like, couch! Get off the couch! Come on! I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's go with number five. I don't like anything. Uh oh, Logan. I think you may enjoy this one, Logan. Lotion. I don't like lotion. So. I thought you liked the smell of lotion. No, lotion. that was just on the script. So. We have you on camera. Admitting that you like the smell of lotion. That was on. That was a script. That was not a script. That was a script. Take a look at that. Clip. We can show this clip on this commercial break if we really need to. No, we don't have to. I think we should too. No, Let's go with number four. All right. If you're getting, you, okay. Yeah. <coughs> this is dog's name. If your dog is missing and on the loose, come here. <coughs> You're not going to get anybody to cut. You're probably going to get the, you know, cops are going to be called on you at some point if you're just out coughing the neighborhood loudly and obnoxiously like me last Tuesday. Let's go with number three. Mm -hmm. that, that was me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. That is a dog I would not want to get, you know, on the loose because saying that a million times trying to find it around the neighborhood, not happening. You should do it. I, I should just run through the neighborhood and yell the alphabet. Yep. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. You should. I thought about it, but no. Let's go with number two. Okay. Ah! Is this dog's name? If your dog runs away and you go, ah! where you at? Once again, cops are getting called. There's no doubt about it. Let's go with number one. Okay, this one's a little bit more serious. World War II veteran, Dr. J. Muffinsworth. What I mean by this is, don't give your dog an 18 word name, name. Not Dr. McStuffins the 14th. Don't do that. Just give them, sim you know, just single, simple little names. You do they don't need to have 18 letters. PJ. 
Mm -hmm. Like TJ. Yes, exactly. Or Dugan. That's a, a nice dog name. This. All right, guys. Well, we'll be back after these commercial breaks. No, we're not. Let's do lotion. Yeah, I'm let's, let's roll that clip of lotion, let's Logan. Look. How about not? I like to eat cheese crackers on Thursday. Shot two. I mean, take two. Yeah. Welcome back. I'm going to bring out a man who's a, a little awkward. <laughs> He's done a lot in his life. He's done a lot in his life. He's done a lot in his life. Ladies and gentlemen, Dugan Smith. Shalom. Shalom. was awkward. I'll tell you this, Dugan Smith is an awkward man. Yeah. So today, Dugan, what do you got? I have a video about awkward handshakes. Okay, in this video, are the awkward handshakes awkward? They're pretty awkward. How awkward would you say? Would you say a person wearing a white shirt in a group of blue shirts? Or would you say at the wrong family reunion, awkward. I'd say a person wearing a white shirt with a pink dot in the middle and a group of blue shirts. That's extra random that's and that's extra awkward. That's it. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> Don't you just hate awkward handshakes? I find them personally funny. <laughs> Listen closely. <laughs> I wish you mine. This is handshake number one, the claw grab. This is handshake number two, the Texas High Roller. Alright. Hi, sir. How you doing? This is handshake number three, the closed bear hug. actually pretty awkward. I feel like I put a whole bunch of butter on my hands and just rubbed it in. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You ever do that? No. Have you ever like munched up Cheerios? Yeah. Did you like the did you like the Texas High Roller handshake? I'm gonna be honest, Texas High Roller was like my least favorite one. I think Texas High Roller was alright. But there was other ones in that bit that succeeded more. Yeah, Seth made them pretty awkward. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now that uh, Seth, if you're here listening, he's not here. He's not here. You're awkward, man. 
That was awkward. Awkward. Thank me. feel awkward? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to spend the rest of the commercial break trying to make this man awkward. I'll see you guys when we come back. Should we clap? I honestly don't know at this point, guys. That was pretty awkward. I'm just going to say yes, clap. We're going to commercial. Hey, uh, how you doing, huh? Come on down to the Outback. No, 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 listen, listen. Joey, 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 listen. I'm telling you right now, your mother, she's gonna be okay, okay? She makes the best spaghetti I've ever tasted in my whole life, okay? Oh, I'm from Canada. Eh? <laughs> Barbecue, uh, we got kangaroos, we got, uh, other kangaroos, and there's also those, bl those blue colored kangaroos there in our cartoon, uh, so come on over, mate, we'll throw another shrimp on the barbie, eh? Hey, mate, you know, you got your trash boss in there uh, with the, the tractor wheels. Hey, mate, how you doing today? I'm telling you right now, your mother, she's going to be okay, okay? This is going to be terrible. <laughs> uh, so anyway, you know, oh, we're back, we're back. All right, hey. welcome back. Uh, what's up? This on. Okay. We'll be right back. Lifetime, I'm 18 years old so far. I've owned about three cars. And uh, I've had three cars because I've had terrible car salesmen. Um, I have a little bit of a beef with this man right here, Clay Renz. He's a terrible car salesman. But since I'm a bigger person, I'm going to bring him on the set. I think he's bumped up security because he's a little bit worried. Ladies and gentlemen, the worst car salesman you will ever meet, <laughs> Clay Renz. Good God. You can't even walk. Escort. What's up? Pops? Gramps? Uh, How you doing, man? Good. You? Well, I was good until uh, I found out that there was going to be a really bad car salesman coming on my set. That's why I brought my security. What's up with uh, that BMW I had, man? What's up with that BMW you sold me, man? It wasn't that good. One of the best cars I had. That was one of the best. The fuel injector went out. $2,400 to fix that. That's not lying. That's, that's a, a true story. That's a quality car right there. That is a quality part, not a quality car. How many other people have you uh, said, hey, it's only slightly used, and it's actually a 1928 Roadster? Uh, Trent Dukes over there. You know? Trent Dukes got, got it too? Yeah. I heard uh, the, the Bill Cunningham went to him, and the Ted Mosby went to him, and we're like, hey, we need a really good car. And he sold him a really good car. And it, you know what? I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting, all right. I'm, I'm just upset right now. Let's just, let's just look at it. Just look at it. Look I'll at take, it. I'll look at it. If I told him to look at this. Look at it. Look at that. Look at this. Look at just that. look at this. Play. Car salesman? So, uh, what type of car are you looking for? Car work and you can drive. 
All right. This has a V6 in it. Beautiful working car. Pretty. No flaws. Cosmetically fine. What else you want to know about it? Um, why are there uh, extra lights up here? Oh, you know, that's uh, came with a vehicle. No big deal. What happened right here? That's nothing, you know, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Nice and solid. Okay. Ain't gonna do anything. Um, how much uh, miles does it have? 158,000. Still runs like it's brand new. I can start up for it if you want to and listen to it. That's perfectly normal. Like a champ. So, uh, talking about buy this car, it takes me a couple of tries to get started up. Uh, on a cold day, maybe. Other than that, it's perfect. Okay, okay. Good run, car. Well, I think we should look at the other vehicles. Alright. Neon, another beautiful car. A little cosmetic flaws, not much. Not a really good running car. Other than that, what else you want to know about it? Oh, the engine runs. Runs pretty good. Let's start it up for you. See, it's purring right now. I'm on, uh, how many miles does it have? 77,000. Who was the previous owner of this vehicle? Not sure at this exact point. But, uh, why don't you take a look around the vehicle? Tell me what you like or what not. Oh, you know, uh, it came from the factory like that. That was perfectly normal. What happened right here? Huh. I don't know, actually. You know, I think it's probably fine. Another handle right there to open up the trunk. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Where, where did these come from? Where did you get these? AutoZone, you know. AutoZone. Okay. Oh. Um, how's, how's the windshield like working? I think we're pretty good. Pretty quiet, pretty quiet. I don't know. It's perfect. I might not even hear it. I might not wake up. I won't even wake up a baby. That's supposed to be raining when you do those. Maybe, maybe. Right here is my uh, final car I have up for sale. It's a Butte. It's out of days. You can tell. Wrapping up here, hitting bugs. Yeah, you know. Well, needs a little work on the headlights, but. Yeah. Other than that, how's, how's the engine run? It runs pretty good. Start it up for it. It runs like a champ. How many, uh, how many miles does this vehicle have? 137,000. 137,000? Okay, okay. Probably one of the best vehicles I have up for sale right now. Up right here, watch this. Close up all the way. This factory, you know, defect. Okay. How does these back windshield wipers work? Uh, they don't. Okay. Good vehicle all around. Some way to get those fixed? Not really. No. Not at all. Okay. All the lights work and everything? Yep. 
Will I be able to get insurance for this vehicle? I don't know. It's been about maybe five wrecks. Uh, rebuilt title, you know. A couple scratches here and there. Overall, pretty good vehicle. Well, I go talk to some people. And I'll get back with you. Let's do business with you. Look at it, I would have told you to look at it. Amazing! I think that was actually pretty good. That wasn't too bad. He's a quality uh, cameraman, I'll tell you that. I still don't like the way you're staring at me, Pops. Huh? Pops? Oh, Pops? Oh, Pops? Security guard? Yeah. What, did you beef up security? Yep, I was coming here, so I had to bring him back up. Alright. You and Pops can uh, go ahead and Pops it out, okay? It's nice seeing you again. Nice seeing you. See you later, Pops. Want my money back from my car? All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was Clay Renz and Pops. We'll be back after these messages. Today I'm going to show you how to turn on a camera. That is how you turn on a camera. Hey Kyle. Hey Kyle. Kyle. Yo. Kyle. Go. Go. What? Go. Go. What? Go. Go. What? Go. Go! What? Go. How was your latest movie? Go? What? Oh, go. Just go. Go! Just go. Go. Go? Let's go. Start talking. Go? Go. Go. Go? Yes, go. 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 Go, go? Yes, go. Go, go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 You want to know something? You, you want to know something that I like? What do you like? Okay. What do you like? I, nothing. What do you like, Logan? Nothing. <laughs> okay, so uh, Dr. Octavius has been a good close personal friend of mine for about two days now. I feel like I've known him two days. It's amazing. Um, I don't. Well, and I don't know him, so I'm just saying. <laughs> Dr. Octavius, ladies and gentlemen. So do you prefer Nation or Dr. Octavius? Octavian, Octivore, Neither. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> Dr. Octavius. Dr. Octavius? Okay. Yeah. So, so Dr. Octavius is an animal expert. He's world renowned. He's captured a giraffe with his bare toe. I like the dragon. And a dragon is for sure. I've pet his pet dragon. Her name's Lucy. That's awesome. She looks kind of like the one off of that movie with the ogre. Does he have a dog dragon? Yeah. Yes. That's a good so what's your, can your, your, your candy bar of choice? Some whatever. A Kit Kat? <laughs> Get it, cat? Animal expert? <laughs> Kitten cat. <laughs> so, you got a bit for us to check out, man? Yeah, it's right here. Wow. <laughs> I just love, yeah, it's right here. <laughs> I'm Dr. Octavius. Today we're going to go find some animals. What kind of animals do you think we would be safe? Um, 
Probably some snakes, possums, possibly a boar. I don't know. Cool. Let's go look. All right, let's go. Hey, what's that right there? Oh, snake. Is it dangerous? Oh, snake. Um, what is he doing? I don't know. I don't oh, speak yeah, animal. It's a weird. Oh, there's a boss. Get him. Get him. Let's go. Things we did in this class. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I hear it. He went this way. Oh. Awesome. There he is. You just turned on Where'd he go? You just turned on Where? Uh. I don't know. Oh, there goes a snake. Get him. <laughs> oh, snake. It looks like you just made it mad. What are they doing? There's a snake and a possum. I think the snake is going to eat the possum. What? What is going on here? That's a big possum for a snake. Oh, wow. Oh, he's getting him. <laughs> oh. I think it's time oh. to leave with this one. Yeah, let's get out of here. Uh, I mean, if a snake's eating that big of a possum, it's bad. I don't know. I heard there's a little rumble around here. Ooh. What is that? Ooh. I don't like it. What is that? What is that? Run, run, run. Get out of here. Oh. Logan, get up. Come on. Get up, Logan. Get up. Let's go. Let's see it. Let's go. Let's go. What is that? Run, run, run. Get out of here. Oh. Logan, get up. Come on. Get up, Logan. Get up. Let's go. Let's go. Dr. Octavius, and we're going to get out of here because this is really strange. You talk about dolphin safe tuna, yeah. you're gonna think of Nashon, <laughs> Dr. Octavius. Thank you, Nashon, Dr. Octavius, no Peyton, Dr. Alakadi. I'll see you later, <laughs> man. Yeah. Have a good one. <laughs> we'll be back. No, we won't. You're too kind. 
<laughs> Have you guys ever had something that's really dear and personal to you and then there's something that just tries to take it away? Or so you feel? Nope. No. Maybe. Do you feel? Uh, uh, I, I don't think I do. <laughs> I don't know anything. So, yeah. That's a good song. I don't know anything. I don't know. I don't. I don't know anything. That's how it goes. But uh, so yeah, I mean, there there comes a time where you you have something in most people's lives where someone is you know a little bit of a competition for you, and you want to do what you can to get rid of that person. No, you don't. You never. You never have gotten a single. Th All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Young. Okay, so Tyler, I was giving the people a little bit of backstory. So from what I hear, um, there's a little bit of an upset character going on in this bit. Someone's a little bit down. Explain a little bit. Well, there, well it's that typical like scenario where you're with your best friend and it's just that one person that you hate more than anything. Hate's a strong one. Hate is a strong word. You know what else is a strong word? Let's look at the bit. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the background just like, hey. It's okay. Hey. Hey. Hey, man. <laughs> you know, it's a good piece of advice from Logan. Hate is a strong word. I think in the end everything's all right, though. I learned a lot from that bit, Tyler. I didn't. You didn't? <laughs> It gets through to some people. What go, what goes on in your head, Logan? Like, <laughs> I have no idea. He never knows. If they get it, if they give you an MRI, are they gonna find anything, or? I I don't know. Well, I don't think so. You can see you can see my little thing that I got going on here. Good friend hates me. You know, it's it's whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Young. We'll be right back. Did you get it? Hey, I'm Robbie Crotty. This is Mr. A Strike, or as we like to call him Mr. O. He's the golf coach. So why did you decide to become the golf coach of Fall Astoria? I always wanted to get into coaching, and Mr. Mason approached myself and Kyle Hackenberg and, uh, that year four years ago. Uh, Mr. Hackenberg uh, left Fall Astoria and went to Bowling Green Middle School, so that left me in charge of the golf team, so that's where we're at. All right, cool. Did you golf in high school? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, my uncle took me out golfing in between my 8th grade and ninth grade year to a par 3 course, and he told me that I should try out for the golf team, so I played all four years. Uh, my junior year, our team was pretty good. We went to state, and then uh, senior year, we were weren't quite as good, but we weren't bad. That's awesome. All right, since golf is such a mental sport, how do you how do you physically, mentally keep your players going when they're struggling? The biggest thing is you've got to stay calm. I, I don't know a single person who plays better when they're angry. It's all about hitting one shot at a time, and even when things don't happen the way that you want them to, when you go in the water or if you miss hit the ball, it's all about staying calm thinking about how you're going to approach the next shot in order to make it better than the last shot the next day. So what's the atmosphere like? Well, it's a couple of things. We always try to get better and we try to have fun. Those are our two main goals for every golf season. Do you, know how much Do you have any leaders on the golf team? Uh, Robbie Crotty is a senior leader who stepped up a little bit. So is Trey Yates, a sophomore. He's helped out a lot of golfers. Plus, Isaiah Bruff stepped up in one of our last matches and took a leadership role on by helping another golfer. 
<laughs> from a few years ago, what has changed to now the way you coach? Uh, I've studied the golf swing a lot. I now have a much better idea of what a more fluid golf swing looks like. And just having the experience of knowing the courses has helped out uh, me as a coach. So what was your goal for the golf team this year? Uh, we had two big goals. We wanted to decrease our stroke average by two strokes a person and try to improve on our seventh place finish in the league. How has the golf team improved from the beginning of the year till now? We've definitely improved our, on our approach to our shots. We're definitely a lot smarter. Uh, we're punching the ball out when we need to and avoiding penalty strokes at all costs. What do you think the future is going to be like for the Foster Rugby Golf Team? you got to cut it. What do you think the future is going to be like for the Foster Rugby Golf Team? Well, we finished six inch. out of eight this year, and I'm looking forward to next year. We got some guys improving. I really think we're going to do well next year <laughs> and into the me. future. You're going to miss me, right? Thank you, Mr. Rowe, for taking the time to get this interview. No problem. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you know, from time to time here on War, you have guests. That's usually what our show is. Mm -hmm. And then from time to time, you get guests that you're already frustrated with before they come on. I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory about Robert Crotty Jr. I went to preschool with Robert Crotty Jr. I did it. I did. Okay. Kitty College is what it was called. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. That's a fossil building. Someone lives in that old preschool now. Yeah, it's me. Alone? <laughs> yeah. With your cats? Yeah. Okay. I have a lot of cats. Seven? Yeah. Okay. And uh, another, another thing, I, I went to school with this guy for a long time. Never knew he had a ghost pony. And then he approaches me for help. I'm going to let him tell the rest of the story. Robert Crotty Jr. Okay. You don't like each other. Not right now. Okay. Very angry. <clears throat> yes. That's very immature. I'm not immature, Logan. I'm upset <laughs> and frustrated with this young man. Nah, that's okay. Very upset. Go ahead and tell him what you did. Okay. Well, you drug me into the middle of nowhere. Well, okay. I lost my pony. And I asked you to help me. And I told you I would help you. Yes. But you didn't tell me it was invisible until we're almost near it. I thought you knew. I thought you knew. Man, you haven't, you've haven't. never told me. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before. Is his name Larry? Nope. It's a girl. Remember? Okay. Her name's Penelope. You remember that? No, because you don't pay attention to people. <laughs> or their feelings. You know what? I'm sorry, okay? Last December was a fluke. I'll be there. All right. Let's check it out. What was last December? <laughs> Robbie. Robbie. Robbie? What's wrong, man? I lost my pony. Well, I hope you find it. Really? Yeah, come on down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do this. We got this. You want to find my pony? We're going to get your pony. So, uh, Robbie, where do you think your pony went off to, bud? Uh, I think it went somewhere out into the country. Well, you know, you can't spell country without you. You're right. You're right. And con. Con. Yeah. There you go. Yep. I just hope we can find a little guy. Oh, so it's a boy? No, she's a girl. Uh, I call her Penelope. Well, there's a cat. Man, Man, I, I hate, hate trades. Jinx, you, you owe me a horse. Oh. Is 
Zach, hey, there's some horses. Dude, pull over, pull over, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pull. Is that your horse? No, that's not it. Nope. Is that your horse? No, I don't think so. I. Nope, that's not it. What about that? Is that your horse? No. Nope. Nope. Not my horse. What does your horse even look like? What? <laughs> what? Yeah. What do you... What does the horse look like? What are its features? Does it have talons? Does it have claws? Does it have teeth? Does it have eyes? Does it have hair? Does it wear a shoe around its neck to let you know that it's near? What does it look like? You can't see it. Obviously I can't see it. It's nowhere around. Like, the horse is invisible. To the naked eye, or like what? Like, I don't see the horse. It's you, nowhere around here, Robbie. You, you can't see the horse. I know I can't see the horse! I don't see it anywhere! What does it look like? It's invisible! Whoa, where are you going? 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 I don't know, man. I'm done with you and your shenanigans. Good luck fighting your horse. Whoa, there it is! Penelope? You've got to be kidding me. Come here, Penelope. Oh, who's a good girl? Oh, I'm betting you, aren't I? Oh. This is my horse. My horse. All right. Watch out! Watch out! All right, I'm just, I'm just gonna ride. Dude, give now. me the keys. I'm, I'm gonna ride. Give me the home. keys. <laughs> I ride a pony! I ride a pony! I ride a pony! I ride a Would you like to say you're sorry? That's what you're mad about. Yes, I'm very upset. Okay. That did nothing but further my anger. That's very immature. You probably apologize to me. You guys think I should apologize or you think he should apologize? I think oh, neither of you should. Anyway. Oh, well, do something right. Should we just make up? Hug it out. Be nice to each other. Why can't we? Why can't we be friends? Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Robbie Crotty. Now leave my set. It's so beautiful. I'll see you tonight. That's right. Onion? You know, growling in the mic is very immature. You know, Logan, I growl into the mic when I'm upset. I, and when I have indigestion, okay? That's <laughs> immature. Okay. We'll be back after these messages. with my good friend Logan Bennett right there.
in the seat to the right of me in the red polo. That's Logan Bennett. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Uh, today we have one of the high school teachers in. She specializes in Spanish. The speaking of Spanish, that is. I can't speak Spanish. You can't speak Spanish? I, can't. I, I know uno, dos, tres. That's about it. No, I know uh, Espanol. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Allie Gillis. Hello. All righty. So today we got Allie Gillis, Miss Gillis, with us. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from originally? Um, I'm from a little town called Franklin, uh, about 25 minutes south of Dayton, Ohio. Okay, so you're Ohio native. That's uh -huh. pretty cool. Uh, what kind of family did you have growing up? Um, kind of just your typical family. My mom, my dad, my younger brother, cats. A lot of cats? <laughs> <laughs> Not too many. We just had one for most of my life, but they kind of accumulated after time. So how many cats by the end of high school did your family have? Just two. Just two? We managed to just have two by that point. Jinxies and Jonxies, was, was that their names? <laughs> no, Kiki and Clary. Kiki and Clary, okay. That's that's actually my middle names. So, Okay, so how, are you, how do you like uh, being a part of Fostoria City Schools? I, I love Fostoria. I love the students. I love the staff. I love the community. It's, it's a really great place to be. So I enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. So... Um, what are your views on uniform, our uniform policy? I, like, there's good and bad to it. I'm, as a teacher, I actually like it because it gives me way less to have to deal with. I think without a uniform policy, there's always that like kind of push on the boundaries. Mm -hmm. Like I remember when I was in school, we weren't allowed to have spaghetti straps. So then girls would come in and it would be like this big. And they'd be like, but it's not a spaghetti strap. It's this oh. big. And so then it would have to be a new rule. Like, no, it has to be two inches, you know, so it's just like... I went through the same thing at church. Yeah. Um, you so wear spaghetti straps a lot. A lot of spaghetti straps. Yeah. I bet you look good in spaghetti straps. I, uh, I look like a bowl of mashed potatoes. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, so what is your best story that you have from your high school days? From my high school? Oh, gosh. That's hard. I, I don't know. High school was an interesting time. For yeah. I wasn't that interesting in high school, I think. Like, we did a lot of fun stuff in band and color guard, but it was like goofy fun stuff. I always joke with my students that, like, a big night for me was spending the night at my friend's house and drinking lots of Mountain Dew. Like, ooh. All right. 3 a.m. Mountain Dew. <laughs> so, what instrument did you play in high school? The flag. The fl Okay, all right. Woo! That was me. We actually have a member of our TV production team who has uh, set a hey. set a little bit of a record, I you should know. say. He's the first male flag corps member no in Fostoria's yeah, history. So, awesome. yeah. and the large gentleman who screamed is his brother. Okay, so uh, BGSU is that is that a part of your life? Did you go to mm -hmm. college there? Yes, I went to BGSU. I graduated twice from BG, so okay. two times a Falcon. Really? All right. Uh, did you ever meet anybody who be, went on to be in the NFL or in the NBA or anything like that? No, nobody, nobody big. I did meet a guy who played, like we had a few classes together. He played for BG, and the, later he went into whatever the minor leagues are for football. I don't know what they call that, like non-professional. I don't know. But it was like it was like semi-professional, but not the NFL. OK, all right. American Football League is what, Something. I mean, that was in like the 70s. I don't Something know. Something like that, I don't know. OK, well, uh, a fun fact about Miss Gillis is that her high school choir teacher was actually our very own yes. choir teacher, Mrs. Bellavia. Mm -hmm. Is she any different now no. than she was back then? No, and it, it's really strange because I remember her exactly exactly the way that she is but it's like I don't know it's different because when you're in high school like you view your teachers as like teachers you know and when you see them outside of school it's kind of like that weird unicorn moment and you're mm -hmm. like Ooh, you're <laughs> but I don't like unicorns you don't like unicorns <gasps> why not they're majestic Logan's quite majestic <laughs> so oh, well, that's true but yeah no it's, competition it's definitely different like you know being working with her now instead of being her student but I enjoyed a lot it's great to be back in the same building that's pretty cool yeah. uh did you ever do you ever, like, in the course of college, have any really, really funny thing, ha any just out of the ordinary, random, hilarious thing happen to you? Lots. I don't, BG is an interesting town. I think the, the most interesting thing about campus at BGSU is that you never know when you're going to see Freddie and Frida or these creepy, like, they're not mascots, but they are mascots called Sick Sick. 
And if any of you go to BG, you are going to have to experience sick sick at some point, and I am so sorry. They're terrifying. They like they walk around in these like jumpsuit things, these gray jumpsuits, and they all wear masks. These like, and they all choose their own mask. You have no idea who they are, and they're not allowed to say who they are. So they even mask their voice, so they'll like walk around and talk like this. And then they have like a creepy <coughs> Miss Piggy mask on. And you're just like, you are the stuff of my nightmares. I don't know right. why. It sounds like an episode of like Criminal Minds or it's something awful. gone wrong. So that's probably the worst. Like All right. most of my interesting stories have to do with Sick Sick and Freddy. Okay. Yeah. Have you done much traveling in your life? Yes, I have. I studied abroad twice in Europe when I was in okay. uh, at BGSU. So. so while you were there, did you have someone, you know, as your translator, or did you no. already, or were you in a part that was English speaking? We had both both times. I went through BGSU, and they have like on-site coordinators that are there to help you out, like while while you're at school. And sometimes you take trips, but at the same time, you're you're kind of on your own. Okay. So a lot of the time, it's great for learning a language because you're just kind of thrown in. It's like sink or swim. If you need the bathroom, you better figure out how to ask because. You know. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I've been there before. Yeah. Um, so. Tell us a little bit of, of your hobbies. Like, do you have anything you do outside of school? Kind of. I, I like to I like to dance, so I do salsa and that kind of stuff. I like eating salsa, so there's that. I like eating salsa, too. Yeah. It's both types of salsa. Mild as well. Mm -hmm. Ooh, mild salsa. <laughs> I also like, I like to read, I like to write, and I play guitar very, very poorly. Really? I play yes. guitar myself. I, I uh, smell a competition at some point in the season then. No, please. <laughs> it's really bad. I play like a lot of bad folk chick music. I, it's hey, embarrassing. The Dixie played. Chicks are still in my heart. I, I'll tell they're you that. There. I know. Yes. They live on. Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to give you a couple, like a little bit of a lightning round. I'm going to ask you like 10 questions okay. really, really quick. You okay. just tell me immediately. Your favorite food? Anything with cheese. Anything with cheese. Favorite TV show in the history of TV? Even That's before hard. TV was in TV. That is so hard. I do like The Walking Dead. I don't know. Lost probably had like my heart for the longest period of time, until the okay. final season, and then everything was destroyed. Um, would you have? Okay, if Lost happened to you, do you think you'd survive? No, no I would have been dead in like five minutes. There's no way that I would have survived that island. I don't, I don't know. I've watched quite a few survival TV shows, so I mean, stay away from the poison oak. Don't drink the water. Simple as that. Do you untie your shoes when you take them off? No, I'm too lazy. Way too Thank lazy. You. <laughs> What's your favorite crayon? Oh. I don't That's a good question. There was this one growing up, and I don't know, because Crayola changes the colors, but I really like the macaroni and cheese color. Never heard of it. It's orange, and I don't even like orange. I just like that it's called macaroni and cheese. Yeah, I, I like delicious. mac and cheese. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> macaroni and cheese is a favorite. Okay, so when I say the word triangle, mm -hmm. you think... This is Illuminati. Uh, <laughs> somebody said it back then. I, I mean, I, yeah, I think of this. I don't know why I think of that. Kanye I, West? Yeah, a lot of artists do this deal. So, yeah, Jay-Z or whatever. Okay, so one person throughout history that is no longer with us, who would you choose to have a dinner date Maybe, okay, there's this, stay with me, there's this Mexican nun from like the 1500s named Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz, and she was like super like stand against the man, and she became a nun because she wanted to be able to read books and study and learn, and she was like, I want to do stuff, and I'm a lady, so I'm going to be a nun. So she's she really, poetry. all and, right. Yeah, she's kind of like 1500s. Feminist. Can writer. you say her name three times fast? Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz, Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz, Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz. I'm not going to attempt it. So we're yeah, yeah. Okay, so $100 million is placed in your lap. Yes. What is the first three things you're going to do? The first three things. Okay, first, very first thing I do, I would pay off all my student loan debt because it's massive, and then I would probably pay off all my family's debt, too. And then, this sounds a little nuts, but I want like an eco cabin in the woods where I can like have a hey. goat and grow tomatoes. So that would be a my goat to grow tomatoes. <laughs> hey. My next, my hey. next order of business. I ain't gonna judge you. Yeah, it's delicious. And then goat milk as well. Yeah. Goat it's milk like, as well goes. Okay, so uh, 
Would you break a law in order to save someone you love? From what? From, okay, well, let's go with instant danger. Their yes. life is in, in yes. various if serious life, danger. If a person I love is in danger, I would break a law. I'm sorry, I would break a law. Okay, would you replace yourself in the shoes of someone who is, let's put it on, put it in nice words, for lower down on the totem pole than yourself just to actually see if it's true you have to step in someone's shoes to understand yeah, their story? Yeah, I think so. I think like a lot of times it is hard to understand until you've actually been in that position. So yeah, I think Okay. That's... Well, on a more serious note, if you could fight one horse-sized duck <laughs> or 100 duck-sized horses, which one are you going to choose? And you got to give us a little bit of a reason okay. why. I'm going to go with horse, like the 100 horses, horse, duck-sized horses. Yeah. Because ducks, I don't, birds are terrifying. I hate you, birds. You they have wings know. and they walk in yeah, front of your car. They have wings and they like, they can like flap really viciously. And a giant duck is like a nightmare. No, yeah. no ducks. Uh, the baby horses would be precious. We would just make friends. We probably wouldn't even. So you wouldn't even have to fight them. You no, would just all no, right. We would just. We that would be pretty cute. Little tiny run horses. Off into the distance I, I would into sell the them. Horizon. I would sell them yeah. into the horizon, mm -hmm. over across the pond. Yes. Okay. So what's the number one thing that makes you laugh the most? Makes me laugh the most. Okay. Probably my brother. My brother is absolutely hilarious, and I cannot spend five minutes with him without being able, or like I can't like breathe usually. I'm not That's, awesome. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Um. To wrap things up, what is one thing by the end of the school year that you would like to have accomplished? One thing by the end of the school year, oh, there's so many things. I would really like my students to feel like they've learned something in my class. Like really just not feel like, oh, I just wasted a year in Spanish class. I really want them to feel like they learned something. Sounds like a so. good goal to me. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Miss Allie Gillis, thank you for coming stopping by. We'll be back right after these messages. Mexico and Pasco Canada. I don't know. Fosley Hair Enhancement. Before Fosley. After Fosley. If Fosley worked for us, it'll work for you. It'll work for you. It'll work for you. Okay, so uh, we have a crazy person in our school by the name of not Connor Cooper. Okay, so there's another crazy person in the school. There's actually quite a few. I go to school with a lot of crazy people here. Uh, I'll tell you right now. We have a person that's a, not exactly a student. That's quite a wacko. Uh, we also have a student who felt that he was tough enough to examine her behavior on a daily basis and capture some of this on film. I'm, it's such a long name for the name of this bit, I can't even recall what it is. It has Nora Lambright's name in it. She's a crazy secretary. That's all I remember. Jeremiah Bruff is the man who created this. So I'm gonna bring him out right now in three, two, one. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. I almost said. I almost said. It was real close, but I, I did it. It, it happens. I once tripped going down an escalator and fell for 15 hours. So, these chairs are comfortable. They are pretty comfy. I sleep in them. 
I'm not lying to you. Last year during the exams, I came down here and I slept. I would. And I passed that exam. They look moldy. I slept. So how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. What's the uh, name of this thing? I honestly, uh, you know, I remember it being something like Nora Lambrai uh, saves the entire world and then goes down to capture a person named Muhammad Magamandi and then she takes him to the Kmart store and then they buy a whole bunch of cheetah print uh, pillows. Something like that? Uh, yeah. It's been a while and I don't remember the name, so... I didn't spend too much time on it. It was like what a minute <laughs> filming. What happens in it? Do you remember that? Uh, she's crazy. She's just, who is? Who's crazy? Mrs. Lambright. Mrs. Lambright who? The secretary. Administrative assistant, I'm sorry. Okay. I got yelled out for saying secretary. Administrative assistant is her name? Yes. Okay. So, let's check it out. Oh, I know. I know what, uh, it is. I know what the name is. What's the name? Nora Lambright, administrative assistant. Is it really j just that? TM. TM? Yeah. Copyright as well? I think. TM. Let's check out. Nora Lambright, administrative assistant, TM. Copyright, TM. My teeth look yellow. TM, TM. to mark off a mistake oh. I made. Oh, I'm going to get you the white out. Yes, I am. Oh, look what I've got. Oh, it's my special one. Oh, thanks. No, I'm good. Oh, I'm oh, good. I'm really okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. Thank, thank you. Oh, no, no, no. Can I give it back to you? Oh. Yes. I would love to give it back to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, you're so Have a good day. Oh, she makes me so excited. Yes. Hey, Mrs. Lambright, do you have a green folder? A what? A oh. green folder. A green folder. You want a green? Oh my gosh! I I have a green folder. Here you go. Oh. Here. You gotta go. One, two, 
<laughs> no, 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 you're not following me. Come on, come on. No. One, two, turn around. Oh, yeah. You got it. You're going to be the king of homecoming. Woo! Oh, let me get you a surprise. Here, here you go. Oh, oh I'm so nervous. I'm so excited about homecoming. When is it? When is homecoming? Tomorrow. Whoa, oh, no. You better get your hair cut. I'm just saying. Your hair, just a little, little bit off here. You'll be looking good at homecoming. Here you go. Here you go. Good job. Hey, good luck tomorrow on that dance. Oh. Remember, got to have the moves. Got to do the moves. Yeah, homecoming. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, we were lost in uh, what some people consider art. Modern art. That is, that is modern art. I feel like that's modernism, realism, and, and art, you know? The co three primary colors right there. Green, orange, and pink. And I have blue. Yeah. And if you look right here, I think that's uh, a reflection of Mr. Swarczak, our TV director, oh, it is. taking the picture. Isn't that wearing, pretty cool? A little pink? bit of behind the scenes. He's wearing pink with a black tie. That's a spiffy man. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was Jeremiah Bruff showing us how crazy Mrs. Lambright really gets. And uh, we'll be back. Thanks, yeah. Jeremiah. Roseanne, what are we doing? He's on the computer, he's probably shopping. I'm Trent Dukes, I'm gonna be asking people random questions. Come with me. Oh, I spotted a random person, come with me. Excuse me, sir? Yeah. I'm gonna ask you a question. Yeah. Um, how about the Titanic or the human skeleton? I'd have to go to the human skeleton. Uh, why do you say that? I just like the human skeleton. Okay, thank you. Hey, look, there's somebody. Let's go get him. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you a question. Oh, uh, okay, that's kinda weird. How about giraffes or gorillas? Giraffes. Why do you say that? Because I can. Robert Goulet. You guys are supposed to be clapping. <laughs> I just want to take a few moments. Looks nice. <laughs> okay, so today we got uh, another interesting person coming on today. It's going to be a man who is Y L L I B backwards. Billy is coming out. Okay, I don't know where he's at, but he's on his way. Oh. I, I hear. Oh, I, yeah. There he is, ladies and oh. gentlemen. Billy. Billy. Yeah. Billy. Oh. 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 There's a wire there. Are you? Are, um, I, I think. Maybe. Stuff everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Just gotta, gotta get over here. First episode of War, I mean, stuff happens. Yeah. Everything. What's going on? What happened to your leg, man? For, I mean, before we get into this. A tree. Tree, a branch. I don't like trees. Lure. I don't like trees either. They don't like me. Was it a pine tree? Uh, I'm not sure. I just Apple don't like tree. trees. All trees. Oak trees? I don't know. Maple. What about in that Pee Wee Herman movie, The Hot Dog Tree? <laughs> Might have been that. I don't know. I saw a hot dog hot afterwards. Dog trees. It was a ballpark Frank Huff. Maybe. Not sure. So man, what do you what do you do? Like in your spare time? Like is it is you know, do you collect leaves or anything since you hate trees it's like a secret hatred so you like pluck them 
Uh, no, I, I cut off the branches and burn them. You burn branches? I That's, burn them. You know, they say you shouldn't burn bridges, but I've never heard anything about burning branches. <laughs> well, I mean, your eighth birthday is a, a, a changing time in a, in a young boy's life. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. what are you good for, man? Do you do anything uh, good for the world besides produce oxygen, you know, carbon <laughs> dioxide? And, uh, all right. Well, you got anything to show us that you're more than just all this talk? I actually, yes, I do. You do? I have a little video I made to introduce myself here. And uh, I believe everybody will enjoy it that's watching. Did you bring the clip with you, or is it like um, I don't one know. time in Delaware when you forgot it? I think it was Wyoming. I went through swimming trunks at the hotel, and I had to go back and get them. Yeah. It's, that was it, a 15-mile bike ride, okay? <laughs> it definitely might have been there. The chain popped on the first mile. You know him? I had to jog 14 miles, yeah. Oh. College. Oh. College buddies. I was okay. three years old. All right, well, let's take a look at a bit. I'm sure he's got a few extra at his house. Uh, uh, maybe four. Four? Yeah. Four mm -hmm. pair of... I mean, this this one's already messed up. It's starting to get bent from all the crazy stuff I do, as you can see. Yeah, you it know? is pretty bent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are the towels for? Uh, armpit more safety? Country. Yeah. Armpit safety, okay. Me. You heard it here first. Armpit safety, ladies and gentlemen. Billy. Comes first. It comes first. Safety first. Safety <laughs> first. All right. Well, thank you, Billy. Thanks now. for coming out, man. No problem. No problem. You going to come back sometime soon? I hope so. I mean, I'd love to come back on the show. Hopefully, possibly, maybe. I don't know. Whatever you think. Never. Oh, okay. Okay. That's, that's okay, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay. Billy. See you later. We'll be back after these commercial breaks. Duties! Uh, you know what to do! Again? This bread smells like bread! Stop! Then have some more. Stop! Stop! All five of you. Thought, All five of you. I thought there was four. There's five. Okay. Sit down, okay? Just take a seat. I don't like you. Just say. Now what is this about? This You've wasted almost an entire loaf of my bread. We have problems. What's going on? Your ninja. Mm -hmm. She's gone. She... She was your ninja security system. <laughs> now that she's not here, we, the Goodies, are now raking the set. Mm. Bye. What's... What is so special about honey harvest wheat bread? It is very tasty. I don't like it. Do you put 
honey on it? No. We put cold fish. Cold fish. I don't like that either. Is it cooked? No. No honey. Cold. Just cold? Yes. You know, I, I for the first time I feel like I'm at a loss for words. I uh <laughs> who, who are you? Hey, do you have names? I am Goot the Gorger. Hey, Goot. Who's your buddies? This is John. Oh, hi. He's new. This is Dr. James Glenwood. <laughs> this is Goodetta. <laughs> and this is the Iron Goot. Ha ha ha. We are the Gooties. Uh, I don't like it. hands smell like bread. No, yeah, well, it's, bread's disgusting. So, are we gonna compromise or no. is, it, is this yours now? Oh. This is our set now. No, it's not. Can, can I have Robbie back? I thought you hated him. I'm not a fan of him, but he's a friend. Oh. Why? Why? We need to leave. Never. <laughs> leave. Never. Out of my set immediately. Oh. I'm wearing sweatpants, okay? Listen to me. Out. John? Yeah. You the new guy? Okay, get out of here. Go. Okay. And then what leave. are you doing, John? Two compartment nacho tray. Dr. James Glenwood. <laughs> get out of here, okay? Get your essentials. You're pinking out cancer. I'm proud of you. Get out of here, goop. You little goop. This is not over. And then, 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 then goop at it. Goop it. Goop at it. Forget about it, okay? Hey, calm down with a stick. Watch out for my totem pole. And then, uh, Dying Giant, huh? What's your name? Ha ha ha. Get out of here. Ha ha ha. Come on. Ha ha ha. You don't have to go. Ha ha Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ow! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I can do it too. Come on. I'm being a gentleman. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Out! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Out! Out! Hold on, out! Hold it out! 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. If I put a ring on the finger, are you going to leave? Oh, 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 oh. Logan, call, oh, 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 We'll be back after these short commercial breaks. I don't like you. Head. <laughs> What's your favorite flavor of exotic milk? Exotic. What's your favorite breakfast food? Mac and cheese on Brockworth. I like chili powder. Do you prefer to eat bricks or marbles? Marbles? set up. You seem to be working out. Lights working there, Madison? That seems awesome. Can I seem to be working all right? Yeah. Yeah, the lights are fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Who's that security person again? I think we lost him. Hold on. Who are you? <laughs> uh, uh, 
Oh, my legs. Uh. Cut this out. Oh. <laughs> it's sore. My teeth. <laughs> my teeth. <laughs> my teeth went flying. <laughs> you want to try it again? <laughs> Sneeze the other way, please. <laughs> Gotta go pee. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's try this again. <laughs> I've never seen him so weak. Oh my, oh, my back really hurts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. sorry about that, Logan. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> My back hurts. I can't do that again. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> Sonny? Uh, I don't know who you are, so... Oh! You know who we are? Uh, you need to leave. I've, I've got a present for you. No, you don't. Are you a history buff? No, I'm not. I've got the first VCR tape ever. Uh, our wedding day! And I got okay. the second copy of our wedding day. Air. I'm good. <sighs> Charles. What's... Take it! You could... Does it... Does it go in? No, it, it doesn't work. Uh, maybe if you shove it. Oh. Uh. Charles, can you get that, please? Uh. Uh. Poke it at you. Oh, there we go. I got an arthritis five. Uh. Oh, oh, no. Oh, gosh. It's a Betamax. Do you take medicine? Uh. Do you need uh, tissue? Uh, that's not gonna help you. Uh, thank you. So I have, I have something for the set. Okay. I have cats. Okay. I have several cats. I don't like cats. Jinxies is a good boy. I don't like cats. He's right here. No. I don't. Look at Jinxies. Uh, no, that's Jinxies. It's Jinxies. Jinxies is at home. Jinxies. Hey. Okay. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Uh, I don't even know who you. Did you even feed 
John Sirs? Can somebody please get them off the set? No! I'm calling security. You're on, you're on my show. Uh, okay. One of those mobile devices that are much better. This is a, a mobile phone. We need one of those cellular touch screens that they came out with. If the screen's touching me, I ain't near it. Oh, I messed up the number. Let's we'll start. <sighs> what letter That's is it? Eight. What number does it start with? Eight. Five. I think. Who are you? Why why are you here? Don't worry I, about us. Hey, it's for you. I yeah, I'm fine. Stare at my cat. I don't like your cat. Look at her kitties. I That's John Sirs, he's a model. I I don't like your cats. Hey, I've got a question for you. Have you ever had an old Kitty man magazine? No. sitting in your seat? No. I'll tell you right now. Slow down. I got up way too fast. Yes. Uh, yes, yeah. you're right, you're right. I'll tell you that. Uh, you need to leave, please. I got something else for you, but I can't find it. Uh, where is it? Charles, you lose everything. Uh, it might be this, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to grab your teethers. Oh, my... How am I going to chew that pudding tonight? It's so bland. I don't like pudding. Uh, we almost got uh, my teeth. It's like rice. It's like cutting rice with a fork. <laughs> Have you ever had beef on a Tuesday, Logan? Mm, you don't, how do you even know my name? I smell this. Hey, there's a hard to catch. Uh, uh, Why is the bottom uh, one? Okay, here we go. You brush your teeth? Here we go. That's great. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yep. Yep. No, I made him. Uh, I come here with you with me, our teeth. With mine. I'm gonna get you. Come here. Get Cut him me. off, Katie. My name's Chelsea. Okay, Katie. Uh, you remember. Let's, uh, let's corner him real quick. I get back. Oh, God. Uh, I'm gonna sit down. I got a chair that has wheels. I remember inventing the wheel. Oh. oh, goodness. Take our wedding tape and... Where did that kid go? <laughs> Charles! 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 Dream. I was 85 again. Oh, let's get out of here. Charles. Ah, it's time for the medicine. What medicine do you take again? You take like 90. To grow my hair. Did you hear my Asian health? Ah. Oh, oh, it's so. Look at all that dust that comes off. Hey, Shuddy. You get off of me. You are Get off of me! Hey, can, do I have any? You have hair, yes. Do I have? We take the same pill. Oh. It's white. Oh. Can somebody tie my shoe? <laughs> what is this? You're gonna leave an old man in the rain? Okay. I just need to clean this setup. You got a piece of dirt right there. I sieve with my glasses, okay? Charles, okay. Please leave. Oh, no. Sir? Yes. You're losing clothes, Chelsea. I don't know where those came from. Did you bring your laundry with us? I brought Jonxers with us. Where is he? Jinxie, Jonxers, Jinxie, Jonxers. Jig and Jinxies, my favorite. Maybe this is your favorite. I'll tell you who's my favorite. Hey, give it to me. I got it. Don't break your neck. Oh, I'm going to break my neck. I have a wedding tape with us. Before I break my neck, I'll tell you that. Hey, what are you doing? Are you going to push me over? Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry, child. My leg. No. I need help. Are you 
you're bald! My toupee! He's bald, guys! My toupee fell off! Anybody gonna help? Let me fix- Oh, shoot! You take so- Oh! I'm so sorry, Charles. Young man! Excuse me? No, I'm not helping you. Charles! We might need the medics. He does this every once in a while. Charles. Do I have to take your wig? Usually, Jonksers wakes him up. Uh, uh, Jonks, he's where you at? I, all I need is a little help. Where's Dr. He's falling. And Where's Dr. Akadaka Bowlet? Where's he from? He's from Ireland. Can't you tell by his last name? Can you help him, young man? Uh, hey, watch where you're grabbing. That's my good elbow. Get in front of me. Oh, oh, you're such a good man. You got your shoes. Hold on. Hold on. They're tied. Let me fix that. <laughs> They're tied very well. I, I know. You're so brittle. That's the problem. Why are you shaking so bad? Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Oh. oh. Are you looking for a job? No. Okay. We, get, we should hire this man. Uh. Would Thanks for know? having us, Logan. I never had. Jonksers! I just stepped on the cat, I know it. Uh, Take our wedding tape. You're coming with us. Grab my tapes. Can someone. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm aiming by here. My back is brittle as an eggshell. On, on Easter. I like Easter candy. I was born. Take Jonksers. Uh, That's Jonksers. Oh, Banksy's. Jinxies. Oh. Oh, did you cut him? Junk. <laughs> yeah, please cut it. Hey, go, hey, log in. <laughs> Something happening over there, but he don't care. <laughs> Unresponsive Adam. Yeah. Responsive looking. So that was our second episode. I uh, I'm getting the hang of this. I'm starting to really like it. We'll see you guys next week. Be as a bump as a devil set aside for me, for me, for me. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs>